BRICS is a term that stands for a powerful group of countries that could change the economic and political world. In a world where the economy and government are always changing, one union stands out as a powerful force. Welcome to the BRICS world, where the biggest emerging economies work together to question how things are and change the way the world works. But how is BRICS different from other groups? How does this group of different countries find their way through the complicated web of international relations? And most importantly, what effect does BRICS have on our daily lives? Get ready to go on a trip of discovery as we figure out what BRICS is, what it has done, and what the future holds for it. In 2001, economist Jim O'Neill came up with the idea of BRICS as a code word for the four rising economies of Brazil, Russia, India, and China. These countries were chosen because their economies were growing quickly. They had a lot of people, and they had the ability to become global strongholds. In 2006, South Africa joined the BRICS group, finishing the formation of the alliance as we know it today. South Africa's joining the group was seen as a strategic move to promote Africa and make the group a wider one. BRICS was set up so that its member countries could work together and coordinate better. The alliance wants to improve economic ties, encourage political dialogue, and work together to solve world problems. BRICS is based on the ideas of mutual respect and equality and not meddling in each other's business. Before getting deep into it, do subscribe our channel BRICS has an informal conference once a year where the leaders of its member countries get together to talk about important problems and set the agenda for the alliance. These summits give people a chance to improve their partnerships. Aside from the core BRICS countries, the union has also reached out to other countries, which led to the idea of BRICS Plus. BRICS Plus is a broader framework in which other countries are asked to join the annual meetings and talk with the core members. This process of reaching out is meant to increase the Alliance's reach and make a stage for cooperation that is more open to everyone. BRICS has set up different institutional tools to help it reach its goals. The BRICS New Growth Bank was started in 2014 to help member countries with infrastructure and projects for long-term growth. The Contingent Reserve Arrangement was also set up to help out financially when the economy is in trouble. Over time, the BRICS agenda has grown to include more than just business. Even though economic cooperation is still very important, talks and collaborations now also cover political, security, cultural, and social problems. This change shows how BRICS is becoming more important and influential as a global partner. BRICS has always had to deal with problems. There are differences in the country's economies, different political systems and sets of goals, and the need to manage expectations within a group of different countries. But BRICS has shown that it can change, as its goals and ways of working together are always changing to meet these challenges and encourage cooperation. Amazing, right? One of the main goals of BRICS is to help its member countries work together more on economic issues. The Alliance knows that more trade, investment, and economic unity could help both countries. BRICS wants to make it easier for its members to trade goods, services, and money, which will help their economies grow and progress. To reach this goal, BRICS works on a number of projects, such as lowering trade barriers, encouraging investment and business possibilities, and building economic partnerships. The Alliance wants to improve economic ties by working together in areas like energy, agriculture, manufacturing, technology, and banking. BRICS puts a lot of stress on promoting political discussion among its member countries. The Alliance understands how important it is to work together to solve global problems and shape international goals. BRICS gives leaders a chance to talk about important regional and global problems like geopolitics, security, terrorism, climate change, and sustainable development. This will allow member countries to coordinate their views and have a say in how decisions are made on the world stage. BRICS is committed to dealing with global problems that affect the safety, security, and well-being of its member countries and the world as a whole. Problems like poverty, injustice, terrorism, climate change, and outbreaks fall into this category. Amazing, right? The Union knows that the only way to solve these problems is for everyone to work together. BRICS uses its combined power and influence to push for changes to global governance systems like the United Nations, International Monetary Fund, and World Trade Organization to make them more inclusive, representative, and responsive to the needs of emerging countries. 
BRICS is based on a set of core principles that guide its efforts and how its member countries work together. Some of these rules are, BRICS members know that their political systems, cultures, and paths to growth are all different. They don't get involved in each other's domestic affairs and respect each other's sovereignty, territorial security, and political independence. BRICS encourages equal ties between its member countries, no matter how big their economies are or how influential they are in politics. Amazing, right BRICS has a strategy of non-alignment, which means that it does not join any particular political group or alliance. This lets the alliance work with different countries and regions in ways that help both sides. This makes it easier for people to work together and understand each other. This way of building an agreement builds trust and makes the partnership stronger. The economic parts of BRICS are complex and include many things that help the alliance reach its goals of improving cooperation and bringing wealth to all of its member countries. In the lines that follow, we'll talk more about these economic aspects. First, trade is a very important part of how the BRICS countries' economies work together. With more than 3 billion people and many different economies, BRICS countries have a lot of trade possibilities. Second, investment is a key factor in BRICS countries' economic growth and progress. The alliance encourages member countries to spend in each other's countries. This makes it easier for capital to be invested in areas like infrastructure, manufacturing, energy, technology, and services. The BRICS. New Development Bank and the Contingent Reserve Arrangement both help business projects by giving money and stability during times when the economy is unstable. Beneficial, right? One of the most important political goals of BRICS is to push for changes in the institutions that run the world. The Alliance agrees that the 21st century needs a global order that is fairer and includes everyone. With their growing economic and political power, BRICS countries want to change organizations like the United Nations, the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, and the World Trade Organization so that emerging economies can have a bigger say in how decisions are made. BRICS gives its member countries a place to talk about global problems and coordinate their positions. The Alliance gives people from different government systems and cultures a way to talk to each other and share ideas. By getting on the same page, the BRICS countries have more impact as a group and help shape international debates and policies. Amazing, right? Since its start in 2006, BRICS has done a lot of important things. The Alliance has become a major power in the world economy and has had a big impact on international plans. South-South unity has been greatly helped by BRICS. The union has made it easier for developing countries to talk to each other and work together, sharing their experiences, best practices, and resources. This has led to stronger political, economic, and cultural ties between BRICS member countries and other developing countries, creating a feeling of solidarity and mutual support. Looking to the future, BRICS has a good chance of making more progress. For example, BRICS member countries can increase their economic unity by implementing measures to make trade easier, unifying regulations, and promoting the digital economy and e-commerce. Strengthening economic links can lead to more trade, more investment, and the sharing of technologies, all of which help to keep the economy growing. Beneficial, right? BRICS can focus on using creativity and technology to help the world grow in a sustainable way. Collaboration in research and development, green energy, preventing climate change, and protecting the environment can lead to inclusive and sustainable growth and help solve some of the world's biggest problems. As we come to the end of our educational trip through The Bricks Explained, we've learned the interesting story of how a group of countries came together to become a force to be believed in on the world stage. Bricks is made up of economic power, political influence, and the hopes of emerging powers who want to make the world more stable and wealthy. The future of BRICS looks like it will be full of more growth, cooperation, and change. So, get ready for more parts of this exciting story, because BRICS is still changing the world as we know it.